Hello everybody! Welcome to another Mango video. I am playing with uh, Jund Sagavan again. Um, this deck is probably among the deck that heard the most from Lurus Ben after... Uh, yeah, I mean the deck was really really relying on its late game being just Lurus bring back a card and, and things like that. So uh, this is um, a deck that's worse than it was before but still one of the strongest deck in the format, this deck top forward the SCG in Dallas, and uh, I decided to run it through a league. Uh, Lillian of the Veil is uh, still a powerful card, and uh, uh, despite, of course, there is a stronger card on White Ace, the combination of this curse spell, Lillian of the Veil, and also of Renin Six to kind of mitigate the, the, the discard phase, because one problem with Ren and Six sometimes is that you get back all these lands, you do nothing with them, and then they kill your Ren, and you just have a million fetch lands that you don't care about. But with Liliana, you can actually put them in places, discarding them over spells, so you can keep your reactive cards, like Anoli Heat, Fatal Push, and they just discard the lands. Uh, so that's definitely a combination. Uh, the deck plays for Urza Saga, and this is the reason why... I think Jund works over Rakdos because you just get access to Arena 6 that brings back Urza Saga and in fact after the ban of Lurus I think that Rakdos kind of disappeared. You can still play Grixis of course but I think that the combination of Arena 6 Urza Saga is what uh, puts you over the top in the control -ish matchup. Um, this list is very similar to my last video that I posted uh, on the channel uh, last or maybe two weeks ago. Uh, one change is, is that I have Parashian Crusader over Turak in the sideboard and personally I don't agree with this change. I decided to just copy the list to try it because Parashian Crusader just does not die against the Omnath deck because they only have white or red removal spells. But on the other hand it's a 2-2 infect that's not really relevant I think. Whereas Turak has a huge ability. He's short. It dies to Lightning Bolt, but this card's two cards is, is very strong, it's very strong. Uh, but yeah, the rest of the, the list, it's obviously, it's honestly just very similar to my last video, nothing really worth mentioning. <laughs> Slow look, thank you for the 12 months, that's an ear. And here it's out. Thank you so much, my friend. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Alright, we are already 1-0. and zero, And we are going for the league. Let's go. Uh, yesterday I played the first round. I don't even remember who I played against. Don't remember that at all. I guess I could check it while waiting. Thank you so much, Slow Look. I appreciate the long time support. Let's see. Oh, we found an opponent. Vamonos then. 12 months of Turu Turu, yes. Yeah, that's the Afro's Fritz badge. Okay, what tradition do Italians have for dinner? We have the nuts hand Turu Turu Turu. Tu. Another sub from Mu Inchido. Thank you for the first time. Appreciate it, my friend. Welcome. I'm sorry, there's a little space above. I don't know how to fix it, honestly, because on my computer, this is as above as it can. Mm. I guess it isn't. Sorry, I'm just trying to... Okay, no, I think it's fixed now. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Saddleback Lagak. All right, that's a cool name over there. Uh, let's go Stomping Ground, Stomping Ground Ragavan, and then I go Swamp, oh no, I can't go Swamp Ren in 6. I can just go Mountain Ragavan. Yeah, let's do that. I go Mountain Ragavan, and then I go Overgrown Tomb Ren in 6. So what traditions do Italian have for Easter? Usually we eat uh, veal, I think it's the word. No, veal, sorry. Lamb, lamb. Lamb, and then we have a very typical uh, the um, sweet that's called Colomba. Uh, later, if the, the the game is a little bit uh, more relaxed, uh, I'll, I'll show it to you. Now we're just in turn two, so let's not lose it. 
All right, they have a Mr. Reinforce. Do they have a Steam Vents uh, Lightning Bolt? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay, but that, that's no problem. That's no problem. Um, I have to go over Gruntumbeer because then I want to go Liliana next turn. But yeah, this this start on the plates busted. And I do that, so next time I can go Swamp, uh, right in six. Swamp Liliana. Not that it matters. They can have Force of Negation, you never know. <sighs> Let's see. Columba Pasquale. Alright, so Overgrown Tomb, yes. And then let's go for a brain and pick up a land. So this is the, the thing, Columba. It's usually, it means, it's usually like you have uh, almonds, a little sugar. It's like a panettone, but it's the Easter version of it. All right, they just went island, crack the bubble, sure. Thoughtseize, okay. I can go Channeler, Thoughtseize. Yeah, I think it's fine. Or I can go just thoughts is first. I think I don't mind going uh, swamp. Thoughts is first. Nah, actually, let's play Channeler, yeah, shall we? And then I'll do this. So, Thoughtseize. Uh, I guess I can, yeah, Thoughtseize. Surveil. Tarmogoyf. Uh, I'll keep this on top, it's very good. Okay. Great, consider Merc. I'm gonna take Merc. Merc is notoriously a problem. Even if I have a Liliana, though. Hmm. Maybe I should just take um, Ragavan. Then they just go for Merc next turn. So if I take Ragavan, that might... N I think consider as well. Huh. No, let's just, let's just go for the safe Merc. And then I'll go Shadow Spear. Again, leave the card on top. Okay, so they play with uh, a, a Braid. Which will be fine to me. I'll return a land. And I pass. So they go a braid or consider. Looks like they go a braid. If you don't kill my shadow sphere, but yeah, no, they kill the channeler. Yeah. Ooh, actually, I left the Parmagwif on top, and my opponent has Ragavan. I didn't even think about it. Hmm. Not my best play. Not my best play, Mango. Mango. What do you do? All right. Let's <laughs> grab a forest. Let's go to Liliana. And that's minus on the Charm of Should have definitely discarded a Ragavan. That's okay, I'm still like very ahead, I think, but definitely should have discarded a Ragavan. <sighs> yep, they go consider. They can go Merc, and then it's a problem. They cast a Ragavan. And they pass. Okay. Uh, they have three cards in hand. Let's begin by ticking up Liliana. <laughs> they annually heat my Ren. Such a weird timing. Such a weird timing. Why didn't they annually hit in their turn? I 
Okay, do I want to keep the, 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 the Ragavan? Yeah, I think so. I might hit a card that I can't um, connect with, but overall, I think this will be fine. Oh, wow, Mishra's Bubble. That's very good. So Mishra's Bubble myself. I see an Inquisition of Kozalek that I do not want, so I just fetch for a Thapland and pass. Okay, they also dash their Ragavan. Let's see if they go over one of my Planeswalker, over the face. They go face, okay. Let's see what I find. Another Ragavan, okay. They'll let it go. They have one card didn't end. No, they conceded. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't the play with a Ragavan Rant 6. Usually you do win those ga those games. There was a little misstep with the Tarmogoyf on top of the deck, but thankfully, uh, thankfully we recovered. All right, so playing against the Izzet Merc Tide. A, what do I want? Certainly the Terminate, certainly the Endurance Even if the Crusader doesn't die, to the removal spells, I don't care. I'll take out Cold Against Command. Uh, pff, honestly, everything, every other card seems good in this matchup. I could take out this. Uh, I could take out some removal spells. Sorry, some creatures. I could take out Wonders of Saga because they probably bring in both Dress Down and Alpine Moon. How about I take out two Sagas and I bring in one Bozeju just to balance the lands? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Just leaving in a couple of Sagas to not rely too much heavily on them. So take out one last card. I'm bringing in two Endurance. Maybe I can take out some Liliana. Of course you bring in Endurance only to cast it in this matchup. You're not planning on doing anything else with that. I think this, these equipments are all good. Uh, I don't wanna discard it. I wanna take out any discard spell. I think they're strong. Liliana is very good in this matchup. Mm, really kind of lost. I'm gonna take out one channeler for now. It's not not ideal, I have to say. So I'm kind of confusing at the moment. Oh wow! The I left in two is the saga. I drew both of them. <laughs> That's fine. You want to pirate spell bomb? Uh, sure, you can have it. As you saw, I was already struggling with cutting cards, so suggesting more cards is not going to. Um, yeah. Okay, so here what I like to do is play Blast the Mar, play Mishra's Bubble, and then as they attack, I'm gonna bubble myself. If I see a card that I don't want them to steal, I'm gonna fetch. If I see a land, I'm not gonna fetch. You can keep suggesting cards that are good, sure. You probably saw how hard it was for me to sideboard. So there's a land, I'm not gonna do anything. They're just gonna uh, take it. Uh, boil, I would bring in Boil against Control and against Four Color. They're gonna go Blood Moon too, that's another card. And they even took my Swamp, so I can't even fetch for a Swamp. But I have to take over Grand Tomb Beer. Since I have a mountain in my hand. Draw two. Inquisition is good, I told you. Um, yeah, so I am going to start with Inquisition of Kozilek and not with Channeler Inquisition. Because they might have a bad end. Oh, wow. Okay. I'll take the expressive iteration. Weird that they didn't cast it, to be honest. I'll take Expressive Iteration. I think I'm going to go 
land the channeler bubble they kill my bubble that's my channeler that's fine but i'm going to surveil which will help me know what's on top of my deck for ragavan purposes so i'm going to leave this on top my opponent is going to then attack with ragavan and take the stomping ground which i don't care about so again ragavan is a very good card but you have uh, you can control it with bubble and channeler to make it less impactful So we don't touch the bubble, we just let them take the stomping ground, and then I'm gonna... Uh, I guess I could have done this in upkeep. Yeah, I could have cracked the bubble in upkeep. Anyway, yeah, they take the stomping ground, they have a lot of treasures, they have two explosives, uh, they have explo okay, they drew a bubble, that's fine. Mm-hmm. They see my top card, I'm gonna see theirs. Oh, it looks like they cast explosives on two. Okay. Is that maybe because they saw a Tarmogoyf on top of my deck? I see a land, that's perfectly fine. Two triggers. One theirs, one mine. Okay, sweet. I'm gonna go... I could go Liliana, sacrifice Ragavan. But then they have a new one. Nano MTG, thank you so much for the third month. You got yourself an espresso badge. Okay, so I can also just use Terminate on the Ragavan in combat phase. I think I like that. I'm going to go Saga and then Terminate in uh, combat phase. They have an extra draw step, so they might draw a counter for this. It's okay. So I kept in only two Sagas and drew them both and maybe now it's going to win me the game. All right, so begin combat. I'll go ahead and terminate this Ragavan. Nice. So they have Flood of Strand, Ragavan, and a Mystery card. And even if they have a Merc, yeah, it's not ideal. Hope they don't have a Merc. Although it's just going to be a 5 5. Alright, pass. Ooh, sweet. I drew a Noli Heat, so that's very good. That's very good. I'm going to grab a Forest so that if they. Uh, draw a blood moon at least have a forest and then I pass I can make a token with Urza Saga and block the Ragavan I don't need to kill it let's see if they let me do it they play a bolt okay and then I kill it If two cards in it, one is a flood of strand. All right, no more. Draw. So Urza Saga is about to die. I am going to make a token with this. And then I'm going to get Nihil Spell Bomb. And plan on cracking that uh, before my opponent... Uh, before my opponent goes for a... Um, Merc Tide Regent. In their upkeep. So that they, if they want to go mark their regent, it's going to be very small. EE on 2 does seem odd. Yeah, it's a, EE is a card that, uh, not, it's not great to play proactively. Better to play reactively. Okay, so I don't have a basic swamp because he got exiled by Ragavan. But that's no problem. Um, so they could have a dress down. I plan on dashing Ragavan here and play Blood Crypt untapped and attack for three. I don't want to cast Liliana. And I don't want to make. Oh wow, Jason my sculpture. <laughs> not even that good. Not a big fan of Sidon and Jace against the deck with Bolt and Anoli Heat. I don't know. Blobbered Elf unplayable now. It's, yeah, it's always been. Boomer Jund. Uh, this, uh, no, no. Boomer Jund is gone. Ren and Six Urza Saga is too powerful. 
Okay, they are dashing Ragavan. Okay, they have two cards in hand. I'm going to once again make a Saga token. I'm going to make them use a removal spell on it, and then I'm going to use the treasure to kill the Ragavan. Blue white? What's that? Oh, blue blue, and you steal this. Sure. You steal this construct. Uh, okay. I still want to bolt this Ragavan here. Hello, Juju. How's it going? All right, so the saga goes on three, but before she dies, or it dies, uh, I'll make a token, and then I go grab an artifact. It will be a Shadow Spear. Remember, I don't have Basic Swamp anymore. Mm, I think I like to go Thoughts uh, Liliana Plus now. I don't know what their card in hand could be. It could be a Merc that Regent. I go to nine, but they have no cards in hand. So it's finally time to play the Zuliana. It's kind of funny that I only kept in two as a Saga and won the game a lot uh, thanks to that card. Like, I won the game by far thanks to the two as a Saga that I drew, keeping only two post sideboard. Okay, they have one card in hand. Uh, I'll double block, so if they kill one, I'm still trading. Oh wow, I got blown out. <gasps> Should have single blocked. I didn't think about them drawing Archmage Charm. Crazy. Congrats, opponent. That was Mart. <laughs> that was Mart. Okay. I was like, a little looks is the kill one, but the reality is that I should have. All right, that's fine. I'll keep this. And then I'll make you this uh, sacrifice a creature. You can steal the one blocking? Yeah, sure. Then I still have a creature. And then attack, and I'll, uh, if they don't block, I'll trample over for one damage. They didn't block, and I got Merc that Regent that I cannot cast. Okay, this blood this Bloodstain Mart doesn't have a single target, so I'll leave it there. Because I got exiled both uh, Stopping Granite and, and that. So I'm gonna lose Liliana. The game is not over. Despite I am very much ahead, the game is not over. Ranantix. Okay. I am still going for a Ragavan Dash, a keep with a spear, attack for a three. Let's see what I find. I find Archmage Charm. Ah, yeah, I can't cast it. All right, that's fine. I'll play uh, Ran and Six. Hopefully, it doesn't have Spell Pierce. That would be terrible. Good, and now we have the, the quote-unquote combo, which is Ren and Six get back Urza Saga. And this is what makes this deck thick. It's this combination of Ren and Six get back Urza Saga in the late game. Other decks, just that Ren and Six get back Fetch Land or maybe Trion to cycle. This deck gets back Urza Saga. <laughs> okay, finally we played a 2-draw for this Explosives, so my opponent is going to be happy with that. Ooh, expressive iteration. It was about time. They only drew one and we discarded it. So, they ran out of Archmage Charm, though. And they have... Uh, well... Okay, they found the Channeler with Delirium. Huh. This, is, this is a good game. I thought this game was over. But the Archmage Charm of the top really sh shook it. Okay, another Ren and Six. That's very good. So the Dragonsword Channeler has to attack, meaning that I don't want to offer the trade a Channeler uh, on uh, a Ragavan on Channeler. So what I'm doing here is just run and six back another Saga and play that. And then I want to make a token with Urza Saga and I keep it with the Shadow Spear. And pass.
I'm putting in a triple steam vent, so I don't think they brought in Blood Moon. So the Chandler can only take down Ren of one, but then I, my sagas, if they pass, are making large constructs here. How well is Jund in the meta, you think? I think you're still an underdog against the under, uh, the under uh, against the expressive iteration decks because, well, this card is very good and you don't have that. Sure, Renna 6 is similar, I guess. But overall, this deck can be better against combo. This deck can be just... Maybe... I mean, it's, it's close. I I can't really say 100%. Okay, they played a Merc that Regent. Ooh, Endurance. So, uh, this one is going to make me a, co a token, and then I go get a Mishra's Bubble. Mm. Now, this can be very large. It's going to be a 7-7 seven, seven here. Because I can make a token, and then this is the 7-7. Seven, seven. Random 6, what do you do? If with Brennan 6 I kill the Construct, my opponent has to chump block. That's pretty good. Otherwise they can like double block the Construct. Yeah, I think it's good. I'll uh, just uh, simply ping the Construct. Or I can get back another Urza Saga. Hmm. No, I think I want to ping the Construct. And then I attack. And this is a 7. They don't even have a Noli Heat, so they just have to chump block here. E yeah, that's it. Definitely not crack bubble or the construct dies. So we just pass and now the game. Uh, I guess they can have dress down. That's still a possibility. What should I see my librarian? The, the, the thing is that um, I sideboarded probably not great since I took out two Urza Saga. <laughs> and I won the game by casting four Urza Saga in this game. So I'd say that uh, you can take a one, but definitely not two. Not play the fetch. This fetch doesn't have any target anymore. Todo bien, todo bien. Okay. Mm hmm They can have a dress down here. Uh, I think I am going to crack the bubble end of turn. I am coming to Four Seasons in Bologna, yes. I already booked the the hotel. Ooh, an explosive on top of the deck. Not bad. Hmm. Now oh so unlucky. I drew the bubble. This is the last target for Urza Saga. <laughs> Pretty sure they just have a, a dress down here, so I'm not um, I'm not doing anything. Uh, okay, so let's dash Ragaban. Let's move the Shadow Spear on Ragaban. And then let's attack with all. Oh, will I lose haste? Oh no, they conceded. Okay, so they didn't have dress down. Does does this lose haste? I guess it does. Huh, maybe then I shouldn't have done what I did. GG. Yeah. Okay, no, I shouldn't have done what I did. Anyway, this was a good game. A uh, couple of mistakes on my side that are important to learn from, I think. Most notably, I should only have taken out one Urza Saga. Again, I'm not 100% sure on uh, how to cyber in this match. It doesn't, look, it doesn't seem easy.
It doesn't seem easy to sideboard. I have for sure terminates into endurance, but every every card in the deck is good outside of maybe one Cold Against Command, one or is the saga. No, it goes back to hand. It goes back to hand regardless. Yeah. Construct survives with Shadow Spirit gift. You are right. KM KM00. You are right. Okay, that was another mistake I made. I shouldn't have moved the construct, uh, the shadow spear from the construct, because if they dress down, the construct remains a one-one. All right, a lot of a lot of mistakes, a lot of mistakes uh, that are important to learn from. Uh, why didn't I bring in the lantern? Okay, I, would, I mean I'm telling you that it's very hard to cyberd in cards, so suggesting to cyberd on more cards is not going to. Uh, I don't know. I don't have an answer. I don't have an answer why didn't I bring in Soga lantern. Mostly because this card sucks. It's just not a good card unless you're playing against a Dredge deck or a Living Gen deck. Like, Soga Lantern isn't a good card against fair decks. Le uh, Nihil Spellbomb is. Nihil Spellbomb is very good because it both does the thing and it... Um, it both does the thing and it draw a card. Whereas Soga Lantern only does one of the two, which makes it only good in matchups where you don't care about the card advantage. Leon looks low. Leon's, well, I think Leon's good. Maybe it's just it's not obviously not a four of, but I think a couple of them are fine. Like for example, in this in this match, I think she can both kill Murktai, which is a problem, as well as uh, just discarding the last card, which can be an Archmage Charm. <laughs> Again, I don't think this matchup is good or anything, especially if they have Blood Moon, which my opponent didn't have. But uh, well, it didn't happen, so. Okay, let's go. I'll keep this in. I'm on the draw. Uh, what do I want to take out here? I think I'm taking out a Ragavan. I'm on the draw. If I was in the play, of course, I wouldn't have taken out Ragavan here. I go turn one Thoughtseize, turn two Saga Tarmogoyf. Could do that. Of course, I have to take an Overgrown Tomb. Ah. <sighs> Tron, okay. Wish I had a Ragavan. Let's go Thoughtseize. Okay, my opponent has Tron. Oh, but this looks... Uh, it draws a Tron to me, though. Because they have uh, Urza Saga. I took Karn because, well, they have 7 mana already, so Karn is strong. Hmm. Okay, uh, what do I want to do here? So they have this member for my Tarmogoyf. Uh, so I think I don't want to cast it. Oh, actually, sorry, this member doesn't work on Tarmogoyf. Yeah. Because it'll be a 5. It'll be a 6 toughness. Perfect. So, I'm going to go Bubble. Do I want to go Saga or just Bloodstained Mire? Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to Bubble myself, see what's on top first. Land. Hmm. I don't want to go Saga now. I'll just go Bloodstained Mire, get... Uh, Ali Eldrazi, thank you for the raid. Welcome. Hello, everybody from Ali's stream. We're playing Magic Online Modern Jund with Urza Saga. I think I'll take Blood Crypt. I'm taking a lot of damage, but uh, I want to be able to cast Liliana if I draw it. So I play Tarmogoth now, and he doesn't die to this member. Thank you again, Ali, and welcome to all of you. This member doesn't kill this because uh, instant is missing, okay? So as they cast this member, blah blah blah, it doesn't die. Our right, opponent is strong here, although they didn't have much when I first thought he's there.
I, I made the mistake a couple of weeks ago with with a blue command on a Tarmogoyf. Seven mana, what is it? Walking Ballista, 3-3 maybe? Oh, Ugin the Ineffable. Okay, wow, that's good. I can kill my Tarmogoyf now. That's free. Because of Ugin uh, discounts, artifacts for two. They killed my Tarmogoyf. Okay. Ooh, Lilian the I drew her. Nice. Uh, let's go Saga. Let's go Anoli Heat on Eugene. Tarmogoyf. Bubble. Pass. I do this now because of th uh, Thanos here, so you don't want to draw in their turn. Although Thanos here is a great target in Liliana anyway. Let's see what they do. They can crack the map and go get what? Blast Zone? They got another tower. Wow. What do you need 8 mana for? I know. Oh, wow, that's the only card I didn't know of their hand. Huh. What did they go get? It's near and bridge, I think. Relic of Progenitus. Oh, wow, okay, sure. Yep. Their hand is four cards. I know three of them. And they cast this member on my Goyf. Okay. I draw two cards here. Hopefully I draw Lightning Bolt. I don't. I do not. I just pass and make a token. <sighs> yeah, I mean when the when the when the Tron deck both draws Tron and then pay off off the top of the deck, there's not much you can do about it. You can play counter spell, but if you play this spell, you have to just see them top decking and you can't do anything about it. And that's the life of John against Tron. It's always been like this since the beginning of the time. Yep, they teeter up a creature. Sorry, they teeter up a card with card. It can even be... Oh, Vermco Engine. Haha, <laughs> that's good. That's very good. And because of Karn, I can't even use the artifact I get from Urza Saga. Hmm. Okay. I can't make a token, or then I can't run and six the Karn. Because if I make a token, then I have a Swamp, Ren and six, I can't kill the Karn. Mm, what artifact do I go get? Well, considering that uh, the Karn will die, I will then be able to... Um, Okay, I'll get Shadow Spear. Bren. Ping Karn. Then I can go land. Play Liliana. And then I'll take her up. And pass. I am not winning this game. I probably should just concede to save everybody's time. Especially since they have Urza Saga Expedition map into Urza Saga. Blah, blah, blah. If you visit Naples, yeah, that's good. I've been there once, only for two days. It was a great experience.
Okay, I'll uh, give up. Man, that op opponent is unleashed. Opponent unleashed. It's okay. It's okay. It's Tron. It's Tron. You can't control Tron. Um, let's bring in Needle, a couple of Bozajus. Um, Cool against Command. Alpine Moon? Maybe not. Uh, I guess, yes, it kills Urza Saga. Ancient Grudge. Okay, so that's seven cards. What is bad? Fatal Push. Uh, Lightning Bolt. Not sure about Lightning Bolt. Uh, Neil Spell Bomb, Shadow Sphere as well. Yeah, Neil Spell Bomb, Shadow Sphere. Mm. I'll take out a base. Uh, uh, I'll take out a land because I'm bringing in two Bozajus. Yeah, I'll take out a land. Maybe Forest. Yeah, I'll take out Forest. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Take out two more cards. I don't want to take a discard spell. Maybe I don't bring an Ancient Grudge. I only keep in Colgus Command. Maybe I take out one, one Bubble. I take out one Saga, maybe. Hmm, yeah. I've ever been to Toronto? No, no. In in Canada, I've only been to Vancouver for PT Vancouver Magic Origins, I think. That's the only time I've been to Canada. Mm, I don't think I want to take out an Oli Heat. Because it kills uh, the planeswalkers, like Ugin and Karn. Hmm. Hmm. I guess this match was not was not uh, was not meant to happen. He got a good game game one, but it was just not meant to happen. That's okay. I'll concede a game and save everyone's time. Time is important. Let's go to round number four. We're currently 2 1. Ah. Glue, glue, glue. I get paired against four color Yorian because I'm curious to see if Crusader is better than uh, Turak. I think that's the only thing. The rest of the deck, I think it's overall fine, and those lots have been kind of perfected from the old Jun Saga. And sure, you don't have Lurus anymore, but you can't go wild and play four Liliana, four season Pyromancer. That's just not a thing. So you just play a couple of. Lilian, I think it's good enough. Okay, let's go. Round number four. I'm on the play. Or three, I guess, in this league. Uh, sure, this end is good. On the play, you start with Ragavan. On the draw, I start with the Discord spell. Mm 
Put him up against six at the moment. All right, let's go. Land Mountain Ragabun. Let's see what are we playing against. I'd love to play against Strong with this hand. Our combo. Tron, nice. I called it. All right, let's attack first. So we get, I wanna get, uh, I want to get the, what's it called, um, Expedition map, because you can get Urza Saga with that. Uh, I'll play Thoughtsis first. Tarmogoyf. I think I'll go Graveyard, because I want to get Delirium. Oh wow, they have Power Plant, Tower, and they had a Mine on top. Also, what an unplayable end is that? Alright, I'll take Ancient Steerings. And then I'll take Sylvan Scrying. Okay, Urza Saga will get me to Delirium. And then I pass. Their hand is... Okay, they play Saga. Goes Quarter, Plant, Kozilek. Attack for five. We got Chromatic Star, sweet. Uh, but I have to fetch for a green first. So first I'll play Chromatic Star, Surveil, Ren and Six, huh. Uh, not the worst, I'll keep it. I'll crack the star. Draw a card. I'll play Tarmogoyf. I guess I could have graveyard it because it would have pumped the Tarmogoyf. So that would have been six. Pitching. Oh, it's the same. Do 11 damage. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this game is kind of like we kill on turn four. This is the excellent draws of this spell plus creatures that uh, can't really do much about. Sideboard, this is Green Tron, not Eldrazi Tron. Going to bring in these. Take out Shadow Sphere, Nihil Spell Bomb. Take out Fatal Push. Probably a Noli Heat. Uh, we don't want to bring in Ancient Grudge, I think. Yeah, sideboard like this. Yeah. Okay, take a bathroom break. Be back in a minute.
Let's go. Alright, this is a good hint. I have the Urza so I have the Rena Six Plus Boys as you combo. Which is strong. It's a strong combo because every turn you blow up a Tron piece and they get forests. Usually they have three forests, so they kind of stay on that three forests threshold. They're currently mulligan into six. Mm -hmm. mm, the Tron Nightmare, I wouldn't say so. I think the first stand was a was a better hand. The first stand was just the nuts. We had. Ragavan Channeler, Inquisition Thoughtsies, two lanes. That's it. You don't even need a seventh card. That was enough. Tron doesn't really recover. I mean, Tron used to be a good deck against Jund because Jund used to be a slow deck. Now Jund is an aggro deck. So if you just aggro plus Dister spell, Tron loses. Whereas if you go slow, Tron wins. Dister spells are incredibly powerful against Tron. Especially on turn one. All right, let's begin with a, a Ragavan here. Sure, they can have walking ballista, whatever. But if they don't have it, you you go off. You start doing things. So again, this is the rules with Ragavan. You cast it on one, and and then you'll see. If it dies, it dies. But it's a threat that demands an answer. It's only a turn one. It puts the pressure on the opponent. The Guanshin steerings. And now Ragavan also makes so that Bozeju only costs one green. That's very good. Now I'm able to attack with Ragavan. And then I'm able to... Oh wow, Exalt Forest! That's great! And then I'm able to go forest. Bozeju. A oh, one mana. Cost only one mana. Here. And then we go ran and six and bring back Bozeju. Huh? They didn't get a basic land? They all they have all them in hand? I think they have all of them in hand. Either that or they misclicked. Or they have a greedy Tron mana base. But I'm gonna get back my Buzeju. Yeah, I mean, we did get one with Ragavan. That was very lucky. But usually, when I was playing Tron a couple of weeks ago, I played three mount three forests in my deck. Yeah, they concede. So you saw that how the matchup is against Tron. It's really just a luck game at this point. Because the previous match, we did what we could, but they drew the cards of the top. We lost. The next game, we just had amazing draws, and there's no way for them to get back. So it's really just out of your... It's out of your cards. Like the match against Murktide, it was a super cool match. It was a great match of magic. Everyone enjoyed it. Then the two matches against Tron were awful. Awful. Were matches that you play the game, you'd be like, I don't want to play this game. So that's sometimes how Magic the Gathering is. If two interactive decks play against one each other, it's a fun experience that you want to come back to. Although, remember that very often the game we don't perceive it in the same way. So 
if I think that, you know, decks like, decks like Tron are not great for the game, sure, but other people might disagree, so, yeah, remember that, there's other opinions. Okay, let's go. Not a very good end, really good end. Although we're on the draw. Hello, Light Shadow. Yeah, we were looping Stone Reigns. That's what happened. Position should cost three? No, it's not even that good on two. It's fine. Cards uh, are designed to be strong. Not all cards should be three mana three three without any abilities. Okay, that's a good draw. Ren and six. I'll uh, start with a. Bl uh, with, I'll start with a thought season. My opponent could have a. Uh, I don't know. Two drop and three lands. Wow. I think I'm taking Thalia. Aspetta un attimo. Maybe not. Because I have Brennan 6 to kill Thalia. Thinking, thinking, thinking. So if they go Thalia, what do I do? I go Tarmogoy. If they go Skycleave. Hmm. Uh... I think I just discard Thalia and call it. Yeah. Yeah, Power Creep is fun. I mean, I'm playing Modern. What? Like, should I play weak cards? I'm playing Modern. You want to discard Mystic? No, I have Thoughtsis for the equipment. Okay, so here what land am I taking? Uh, Overgrown Tomb? I think so. Plus I play with Kool as Command in my deck. And Bozeju too. And Bozeju too. Alright, I'll go Overgrown Tomb for now. Or I can get Swan. No, 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 no. I'd have to get Overgrown Tomb there. Yes. Channeler and I got thoughts. I'm on 11, half of my life total. <laughs> kind of want a third land here, yeah. What do we do with the third land though? I don't do much with the third land. Ah, uh, that's not true. I think I need a third land. I think I need a third land because next time I want to go Tarmogoyf land that isn't a Bozeju. Uh, Kimi, if you don't have Ragavans, you should play with Delver of Secrets. Go on my YouTube channel and write uh, Blue Red Delver Modern. Uh, I, w I went 5-0 once uh, with the deck. That's definitely a viable deck. Okay. They didn't uh, play Scatlib Apparition. Hmm. <laughs> Fine. Remember, Bozeju only works with creatures legendary, not with um, Planeswalker legendary. Uh, what do I want to do here? Hmm. I think I want to do Tarmogoyf. I don't mind if they Sky Cleave it. I have another one. Whereas uh, I like my Renin 6 to stay. Especially if I am playing on looping Bozeju's against the deck with Stoneforge Misting and Ether Vials. Again, if um, I make modern content daily for um, about a year. So, wow, did you an equipment? No way, what did you draw? What did you draw, opponent? Oh, nothing and you concede? That's weird. So, if you think about a deck, I probably already showed it on the channel. For real, though, I'm not joking. The only deck that I've never played is Black Green Yogmoth. That's the only deck I've never played. Alright, my opponent uh, decided that uh, it was enough. Paris Palm is important for the uh, Sanctifier and Beck. That's a problem for the deck. Hmm, what's seven cards here? 
All right, let's take out the Nihil Spell Bees. I think I'm taking out some Discord Spells. And maybe a couple of Ragabuns. Yeah. I have now 25 lands. That's a lot, but I think it's good. They have like Ghost Quarters and such. Do a Yogmoth League? Well, I could do a Yogmoth League. But then I don't have to say that hey, I don't play Yogmoth anymore, you know? You understand it? It's like saying I have something to look for right now. If I do that, I don't have to look for that anymore. My life is already not very full of uh, new things as it is. So I'm going to leave that... Uh, the taste of yoga moth. You understand me? Yoga moth is boring though. I don't know. I play most decks. It's just uh, Dali out the beating. Parmogorif. That's a nice draw. Could have been a 3-4 if I fetched, but I already have the Overgrown Tomb, which was the perfect land to get. What about Neo Nodern Belcher? Belcher? Yeah, I'll play Belcher. Engaggio Castle. Hmm. I think I'm casting the Perrection Crusader. Yeah, I love him. I'm gonna go swamp. Actually, I think I'm gonna go swamp attack. No, if I. Enganjo? Two mana Enganjo? Path to exile? Que schifo. Okay. And then I'll play the Perrection Crusader. Let's go in a Crusade shot. An actually banned card in Magic the Gathering. What if, they, what if they kept up Mana tight? They couldn't play Mana tight anymore, it cost 2 mana. So that's why I attacked first. I was like, maybe they play a Ganjo for 2 mana. I thought it was like the 4 damage to attacking creature. Canopy crack it. Mmm, that's not a good sign. Let me tell you. Enriching his own lore. That's exactly what it is. Uh, nice shadow. The Pressure Crusader dies to a Ganjo, though. I don't know why I'm so afraid of a Ganjo. I hope you don't have it. To infect anyone? I imagine if this was the... I don't know. To infect anyone? Dos infect. It's not Trinum Nemesis. It dies to a Ganjo. <laughs> yeah, Path to Exile is just... I don't know what happened to it. Even in cube, whenever I played in cube, it feels so bad. It did not f used to feel this way. It did not. My Ganja costs like one ticks. <laughs> I think this a Ganja castle is more expensive. No, I don't have basics anymore. I hate you, opponent. With your Path to Exile Field of Ruin game. Alright, if there's a next game, I'm not gonna fetch basic lands. Whoa! Pyrite Spell Bees, look at that. Alright, four Infect. Four Infect. No, they can never kill this creature. Only a Ganja, but I clearly don't have it in hand. Feel the ruin again? No, ma porca merda! <laughs> oh, the stone rain! So earlier I did this to my opponent and he felt awful. Now my opponent is doing this to me. Alright, I got 13. Let's go, Crusader! Let's win! Ooh, another saga. 
<laughs> Will they have another ghost quarter of field of ruin? <laughs> uh, crusader, Crusader, Crusader. This is better than strip mine because you get back a land. Strip mine is straight up one for one, whereas the field of ruin here is no ghost quarter. <laughs> Okay, I gotta eleven. Garden of the Guild Pact? Yeah, Garden of the Guild Pact is uh, hard to deal in cube. What? They didn't go squarter me? <laughs> ah, lol. 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 I'll go. Uh, so the problem here is that if I cast Rent to get back an Urza Saga, my opponent destroys. I think I have to play Boseju. Or do I take three damage and just go burn a catacomb? Yeah, that might be best. I just take three damage. Yeah, I have to, I think. Because if I go Rand, they just destroy this now. And... Yeah. Alright. So I go Rand, and I get back Saga. There's no point in killing the Thalia. They have a Ganjo. A Ganjo Castle being relevant. You would never expect this to happen, but a Ganjo Castle relevant here. For the first time in its entire life since Kamigawa block. Alright, does my opponent draw an answer to my Parashian Crusader? Or do we go all the way up? Up can fight. What do you do there? What do you do there? Three? What's that? Four? Solitudine? Is that a solitudine? La solitudine. Can't kill this. Can't kill this. Do 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 do. Can't kill this. This one does ever anything commander? Okay, sorry, sorry, C Mac. I never thought about it. We could possess you the castle. Yes, yes we could. Alright, I'll take five. I'm on five. I'm on five? Do I stay wait do I do I play a token? No. Bye bye, I'm on five. I'm on five. Sorry, I'm on three, I mean. I don't know why I said I'm on five. I take five. I go three. Oh, the attack, the attack ran? I didn't even notice. Okay. What's that? Five mana? Butter school? Okay. And, oh wow, that's a black, that's a black germ. <laughs> Too bad if something would happen to it. Do, 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 do. No terminate? Why do you terminate? I just went on board. All right, I'm even making a token before. Because why not? Let's get let's get some game action before the league ends, so the video lasts longer. Actually, I don't even know if a video that lasting longer is better or worse. I never really understood that. All right, what do we want to use? Bozeju or Terminate Chat to win this game? I think I'm gonna use Bozeju because I paid it like 35 ticks each. YouTube wants long videos. And that's what I thought. And that's the win! <laughs> and it's why the Pepple Clap 4 1 only lost to Tron. But then we defeated it, so we went even. Pyrection Crusader on a Crusade. See, I can't even say that because Wizards banned the car Crusade. So what can I say? What should be the caption to this? GG's Dorian. Yeah, this was a good league. I think it was... It was this deck is very good. It's like... So we 2 everyone and just lost to Tron. 
We literally told everyone. Thoughts on Lily? She's fine. You just need two copies, though. Don't go crazy with three or stuff like that.